So, ayun. good day everyone, good evening. So, we're here to present uh, the proposed product by the group four uh, for the elevation of the So, this is the Calia de Vendor. We serve what you need, convenience for safety and air. So, from Jed 106 A60, I'm Angelo V. Tenebroso. Uh, and I'm uh, Seth Jarl Agustin. I'm Jose Luis Di Francisco. I am Luis Alfonso Daniel. I'm Christian Jason B. Dinaco. I'm Shane Myers Marasigan. And I'm Keril Ira V. Mendoza. So, so to start off for the outline of the project. So as you see for the outline of the project, so here's an introduction, body, and conclusion. So for the introduction to be discussed by uh, Mr. Daniels, Mr. Francisco, and also next question. Okay, uh, to start. So uh, from crowd gatherings to stay-at-home practices, it has become hard for the Filipinos to cope with the new normal. However, for almost a year since the lockdown, the pandemic itself has become a part of their daily lives. Since then, empty roads and uncrowded places have become normal for them. According to the Asian Development Bank, the pandemic produced a decline in the economy with a 7.3% observed decline. Because of this, the government has been finding a way to increase their economy through promoting local businesses. According to an article from Aroquip, promoting locally made products keeps the money within a certain community, which in this case, money being spent on buying local products made in the Philippines is stored in their gross domestic product therefore contributing to its economy. With the pandemic still around, the demand for safety equipment is very essential. Safety equipments include PPEs or personal protective equipment. PPE is a type of equipment that is commonly used for protecting specific parts of the body, especially when exposed to hostile environments. Such examples include face masks, face shields, and gloves. Further research and studies have found that vending machines have the possibility to resolve the aforementioned problem. It gives customers an unattended retail wherein one does not have to make contact with any person and instead with just the machine itself. By the possibility of combining PPEs and vending machines, a PPE vending machine comes to mind. This has already been implemented in other various countries such as Qatar, in one of their airports, these PPE vending machines have already been installed through the terminal, wherein it provides passengers emergency stores whenever they felt the need to use such equipment. With its recent implementation, the contactless transaction, transactions have uh, provided them improved sanitation and safety. The innovative product mentioned above can also be implemented in the Philippines to provide the same benefit. However, such modifications must be made. Conclusively, in order to make the PPE vending machine local, every material needed to make the product must be raw materials only in the Philippines. The same is also applied to making of PPEs. Not only PPEs would be included, but also sanitizers, alcohols, and vitamins to further diversif diversify the choices. Compiling all the concepts, a locally produced PPE vending machine has been on the mind of the research researchers. Such PPEs will include face masks, face shields, gloves, sanitizers, alcohols, and vitamins, wherein they are all manufactured locally from raw materials found here in the Philippines. So for the next part,
So for the significance of the study, as said, uh, this product will greatly benefit the society and economy since it targets uh, the economical slump that the age uh, experiencing right now. And also hope with the duration of the outbreak of the disease, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. So economic support, as researched, the Philippines faces economic slumps of negative 11.5% and it's still recovering up until this moment. So future vending machines, uh, will be set up in different locations, for example, like um, shopping centers, parks, government buildings, and other public spaces. So, to the fight against COVID 19, uh, as stated in the research, uh, 590,000 and 575.3 cases as of the year 2020, 102,475,596 were declared recovered, and several. 10,552 were the total deceased. So, breakage of surgical masks and tampered face shields are the most common cases at this rate of time. So, this was made for them. So, uh, and for, lastly, for the accessibility throughout the vicinity, uh, this enables to manage an emergency situation if someone's PPE breaks or is tampered uh, with its main concept of project innovation. So, this is known to provide security for patients against COVID-19 and the economy in the entire Metro Manila. So for the next part. So in this part, I will discuss about the design and mechanism of our product. First is, how does the vending machine work? You all must be familiar with how vending machine works as a customer. It simply follows I ACC, insert money, choose product, and collect product and change if applicable. However, in this paper, we tackled what happens inside the machine as well, how the coins and bills are detected by certain sensors and decides whether to reject or accept the money. There are also little computers behind every button for the machine to easily recognize and what product a customer is trying to buy and the spiral coils that turns to make the product the customer paid for to drop. As this machine will be commercialized in public, of course, it needs to be durable. So what is the vending machine made of? Galvanized steel, lexan, acrylic powder coating, polyurethane insulation, and copper coating. These items are the usual materials that make up a vending machine that is accepted by the government. Galvanized steel will be used for the main body, while lexan is used for the front panels. This is an easy to break, easy to shape, has low level of flammability and resistant to high temperatures, which is more ideal than glasses. The coating design of the machine will be made of tinted acrylic powder coating except chemical resistance. We have opted for blue, red, and white as the main colors, as it has been in several studies that civilians associate these colors with cleanliness, happiness, rest, and health. We decided to use these colors to promote this exact expectation to the customers. The polyurethane foam adds to the insulation and the structural ability of the machine. Lastly, not forgetting the danger of possible transmittance of the virus by using the machine. For precautionary, this automated machine will also have a copper coating, especially on the buttons and money slot as it has proven how copper is effective at COV-2, the virus that is responsible for coronavirus. With this design and mechanism, we have tackled the precautionaries. Now, for the items or products inside the machine, we will be next reported. So, supply of products and raw materials. As mentioned, uh, our main product is the vending machine itself. But what about the contents or the products inside the vending machine? Our vending machine houses products of locally produced medical products and PPE or personal protective equipment inside. And that's what this topic is all about, the innovation developed by us researchers. And these medical products are all manufactured here in the Philippines. And some of these uh, products are made with uh, local raw materials. These local raw materials include tobacco fiber and pinyon fiber that are usually in traditional cloth 
weaving of indigenous provinces in the Philippines. And naturally, their suppliers will come from these provinces of the north and the south. So next slide, please. Um, there are special features for of locally made products inside the vending machine. So number one, uh, the PPE is manufactured and distributed by companies based in the Philippines. Because of the effect of the pandemic, COVID-19, the government urges organizations and institutions to buy and source their medical PPE from factories owned and based in the Philippines. Um, due to this, uh, the, the researchers will try to quote products of these Philippine-based manufacturers of PPE and convince them to support this kind of innovation. It is the same system for sourcing products Oh, for, uh, next, uh, so number two, uh, the featuring of local heritage design face masks. There are handwoven face masks in circulating around the internet that have become a trend because of their aesthetic looks. So these face masks have designs that showcase Philippine culture and Filipino pride where the traditional textile and weaving of indigenous tribes were applied. There is no doubt that these uh, are made with local raw materials, as mentioned earlier, uh, with the same case for the medical products of Philippine-based manufacturers. The researchers will try to coat this face mask to be invested in the vending machine and convince them, their manufacturers, to support this kind of innovation. So next, uh, number three, the reusable pouch for both products. The consumers of these products have an option in the vending machine to add a reusable pouch for their both products. And this pouch will be made from a synthetic abaca fiber, handwoven with textile design and manufactured here in the Philippines. So the look of the pouch uh, varies on the size of the product that the customer has ordered. So next figure, please. So for the product branding and advertisement, uh, the coronavirus pandemic affected many businesses, jobs, establishments, and schools, which makes the economy of the Philippines drastically sink. Though, so the Calle de Bendor will help the decreasing economy of the Philippines, as well as fighting the, to reduce the spreading of the COVID-19. The way the vending machine will be introduced publicly is to have product branding and advertisement. Every product released in the market are being advertised. In this way, the people will know that the product exists. This will attract customers and generate sales, as such as online marketing, radio, TV commercial, billboards, magazine, and posters. This will serve as the introduction line process to make the product be scattered around the Philippines and also the other countries. Also, the pe people will know everything about the vending machine, such as how to use, how the payment system, and what products are to be sold and location of the vending machines. Locating and distribution of the vending machine is part of the advertis advertising method. The vending machine will be open to public and to encourage people to use the product. The vending machine should be accessible or easy to locate like places in MRT, LRT stations, gas stations, and any convenience stores and malls across the Metro Manila. The product brand is Calle de Vendor, which specializes on locally made PPEs. It's not just our vending machine will be promoted, but also the product that are made here in the Philippines, such as the local heritage design of face masks and reusable abaca fiber pouches. And the tagline that will highlight the product to be to the public is we serve that we serve what we what you need. Convenience for safety guaranteed. That's all. Next speaker, please. Uh,
So for the conclusion, we will discuss by me and Mr. Agustin. So for the first one, overview and some key for concepts. In these times of pandemic, many people suffer from fear and anxiety because of the continuous spread of COVID-19 transmission around the world. They are forced to stay at home and be responsible enough to follow proper protocols and safety countermeasures provided within the society. And in this case, the need of PPEs drastically increased due to the demands of people worldwide where this material can help the faster recovery in both medical and economical fields. One of the best way to benefit the people is to improve the supply of all kinds of PPE and other equipment that can be useful for the citizen. For deeper understanding, this PPE mainly refer to materials worn to limit exposure to dangers involving severe injury and diseases in the workplace. And for the second one is the main objectives. The first and main objective of having this innovative product is to provide Filipinos to have a convenient access to all kinds of PPE in their daily lives. As can be seen in the figure above, uh, the vending machines wearing masks is a necessity for every person going outside in these times of pandemic. The, vend the vending machines will be placed in the appropriate area within the country where people mostly go like stations, mall, and other common crowded places. Other things should be also considered as the increase in supply of PPE will greatly impact the economic aspect in the country by having set own materials in the making of such innovative products. So for the last one, the benefits. The innovative vending machine has a clear purpose in helping people, specifically Filipinos, in having easy access to different kinds of PPE. They provide basic equipment like face masks, face shields, and even alcohol for sanitizing purposes. By having an affordable price, masks and other PPE can be, can be easily distributed within the country and loose equipment can be avoided. Proper advertisement and explanation about the innovative product will significantly help the citizen in recognizing the true essence of PPE and the vending machine for their own health and safety. So for the recommendation, So for the recommendation, uh, adjusting flaws and limitation. So as stated earlier, uh, our innovative product, Kalia the Vendor, is uh, like your typical self-service vending machine that is mainly operated by an automated electronic machine. But instead of dispensing bottles, soft drinks, and other kind goods, uh, our vending machine dispenses PPEs, uh, which will help protect um, citizens during these difficult times of the pandemic. And although there are certain drawbacks when utilizing vending machines for distributing PPEs, which may cause inconveniences, not only to the operation of the vending machine business, but also to consumer satisfaction as well. Uh, the identified flaws and limitations that can be speculated from utilizing vending machines for PPE dispense are stock control and um, maintenance. So beginning with stock control, it is crucial for our PPE vending machine to have consistent stock of PPEs in order to satisfy our consumers and also to keep the flow of income going. Stock control or also known as inventory control is an aspect of business management wherein product stocks are tracked and monitored in order to avoid bottlenecks in the supply chain. So this means, um, this, not, this does not only keep uh, our capital steady, uh, our business capital steady, but also uh, protects the production when um, problems arise within the supply chain. And uh, our PPE vending machine should uh, also consider the needs of uh, having stocks ready when supplies of PPEs in the vending machine are uh, in near depletion. So next is the maintenance. So our product should uh, consider tackling maintenance issues regarding vending machines, just like any other vending machines, right? And uh, so our vending machine is, well, for, uh, no, uh, it's not really foolproof in any mechanical issues. So it will be one of the, one of our major challenges, it, it will be one of the major challenges in, in operating our, our in operating Kali the, the vendor and with this in mind, uh, our PPE vending machines should always have a, I think, we should always have a weekly maintenance check in order to ensure that uh, 
consumer satisfaction and capital growth is satisfied. So lastly, um, for the recommendation is the future innovations. So taking all of uh, the taking all of it into account, uh, our group believes that uh, our vending machine should have a uh, um, a vending machine notification system which which you, which uh, tracks the sales generated by our PPE vending machine while also uh, sending sending us emergency alerts if the if the vending machine is experiencing some sort of mechanical function or disruption in in the in its in its operation so that's all for the recommendation So, um, to end this, so I thank you for listening to us. So that's the proposed product of uh, Group Four Economy, um, the Calio Vendor. Calio de Vendor. We serve what you need: convenience for safety guarantee. So I hope that we enlighten you uh, on our target or goals in this project, and may we well for your own. Uh, so that's all. Thank you.